This video is for all the Calculus 1 students, especially you are learning derivatives. I would like to explain the difference between the notation ddx, dy dx, and also d2y dx too. Check this out. Let's start with d dx with a parenthesis like this. Let me tell you, this right here is an action. This right here is an operation. And the way that people will say this is, we will take the derivative. And of course, there are different ways to take the derivatives, such as we can use the power rule, we can use the quotient rule, or maybe we can use the definition of derivative, up to you. And sometimes you may also hear people say the following, or we can say we are going to differentiate. And if you want to be even fancier, you can make it like this. We are going to differentiate, and we pay attention to this variable, and you write this down abbreviation okay w r t and this means with respect to this variable which is x so one way or the other pay attention to that when you see this and look at the function inside then we will have to do all the calculus work to get the derivative so after you have done all that then you will get dy dx and this right here is the result after we finish doing the derivatives by using all the rules. This right here is the final result, the final object. It's the thing. Is the derivative. So this is a noun. It's not a verb. This is a verb right, to take the derivative. All right. So these two, hopefully, they are not so bad. I will show you guys an example right here with actual functions. The most confusing one, I would say, is this, d2y dx2, and maybe you can see d3y dx3, etc, etc. Let me first tell you, this right here represents the so-called second derivative. So this is not so bad, but I know a lot of people have been wondering why the notation is like this. Why do we put a 2 right here and also the, put the 2 right here? Hmm. Weird, huh? But the truth is, it's not weird at all because if you understand this and that, then this makes perfect sense and it's a very beautiful real thought notation in my opinion. Check this out. How do we get the second derivative? We will have to differentiate the first derivative, right? So we will have to differentiate, so that's d dx, the first derivative, and the first derivative is precise this. So dy dx. Aha! You see that on the top, we have d and d happening twice, huh? Aha! d squared there. And then we have the y. On the bottom, we have dx dx. Two of them. dx squared. And for this one right here though, please do not write dx with a parenthesis and square like this. Don't do the parenthesis. Just put a 2 right here, it's much more elegant, and this is the way that we do it. This is the reason why the 2 is right here for the d, yeah, and then the 2 right here for the dx dx. Now, let me just go ahead and just show you guys an example that I see how we can put this in action. So, here is an example for you guys. Suppose we have d dx of x to the third power. So this means we are going to take the derivative of x to the third power. Feel free to use the definition of derivative, go ahead and be my guest. But we can just use the power rule and that's bring the power to the front at minus 1 so we get 3x squared. So you see this right here is the action, it's the operation, you do the work and then this right here is the answer, 3x squared and then we are done. Or Another way to do the same thing is the following. We can say, consider we'll let the y equation be x to the third power, and then go ahead and find out what dy dx is. For this, you see, I put down dy dx because we differentiate this equation. The derivative of y with respect to x is exactly this. So this is the final result. And then on the right hand side, we do exactly the power rule. So put this in the front of minus 1, and we end up with 3x squared. And then we are done, of course. And let me just show you if we have d2y dx2. 
This means we have to differentiate the first derivative and let me just write down dy dx because this right here is the first derivative. And we know the first derivative is this, so this right here is the same as differentiating 3x squared and for this we can just go ahead and use the power rule put the power to the front minus 1 2 times 3 is 6 and then x to the first power and that will be it and this right here is the second derivative for this y